After entire WH committee resigns, shocking hidden message discovered in letter to Trump. Last week, all of the members of the President's Committee on the Arts and the Humanities resigned en masse. They were all Obama-era appointees, so President Donald Trump surely isn't losing any sleep over it. However, a shocking message directed squarely at Trump was just discovered in their group resignation letter. According to Western journalism, committee members who resigned included Gal Penn, Paula Boggs, Chuck Close, Richard Cohen, Fred Goldring, Howard Delgottlieb, Vicki Kennedy, Jumpa Lahiri, Ann Lozato, Tom Main, Eric Ordner, Ken Solomon, Carolyn Taylor, Jill Cooper Udall, Andrew Weinstein, and John Lloyd Young. Your words and actions push us all further away from the freedoms we are guaranteed, they wrote in a mass resignation letter to Trump. Reproaching censure in the strongest possible terms are necessary following your support of the hate groups and terrorists who killed and injured fellow Americans in Charlottesville, added the group. Ignoring your hateful rhetoric would have made us complicit in your words and actions. We took a patriotic oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, the letter continues. Supremacy, discrimination, and vitriol are not American values. Your values are not American values. We must be better than this. We are better than this. If this is not clear to you, then we call on you to resign your office, too, they wrote. Art is about inclusion. The humanities include a vibrant free press. You have attacked both. You released a budget which eliminates arts and culture agencies. You have threatened nuclear war while gutting diplomacy funding, the resignation letter further stated. The administration pulled out of the Paris Agreement, filed an amicus brief undermining the Civil Rights Act, and attacked our brave trans service members. You have subverted equal protections, and are committed to banning Muslims and refugee women and children from our great country, it ignorantly went on, according to Washington Examiner. Although their entire sentiments could be torn apart easily with the use of facts. Twitter users noticed something else that stood out more than the misguided ramblings, message hidden within the liberal sob story, namely, the word resist was spelled out using the first letter of each paragraph. The left has used this one word mantra to symbolize their resistance to the Trump administration ever since the president's inauguration in January. The White House did not comment on the resignations of the Obama appointees most likely because they are totally inconsequential when compared to more pressing issues which Trump has on his plate. If they had so much time on their hands that they could sit around crafting hidden messages into letters for the president, the tax dollars it required to keep them around could certainly be better spent elsewhere. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.